Hello, and welcome to the Tel Aviv University Honorary Doctorate Ceremony. I'm your host, Mayan Hoffman, Deputy CEO of Strategy and Innovation at the Jerusalem Post. And I am so honored to be here tonight to interview some of the most exciting and interesting people who have touched Israel and Tel Aviv University over the years. I want to call up our first per, uh, interview, Pavel Pevsner, correct? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So, Pavel, you're an authority on computational biology and bioinformatics. In the real world, that transfers to breakthroughs in the sequencing of DNA, antibodies, and antibiotics. Tell us about the implications of your work. Oh. Uh, 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 genome sequencing has transformed modern biology, and it launched the era of personalized medicine. And I can talk about applications of bioinformatics in biology and biomedicine for hours, but I probably should focus on something specific, and specifically sequencing bacterial and viral pathogen. As we are exiting COVID-19 pandemics, we remember that 20 years ago there was SARS pandemics, 12 years ago there was a European outbreak of E. coli, but in reality, outbreaks happened every week. We don't hear about them because they are contained. And the first thing to contain an outbreak is to identify the pathogen and sequence its genome. So we are very happy that we contributed to sequencing MERS genome in Saudi Arabia, chlamydia outbreak in the United Kingdom, or cholera outbreak in China. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Now, how did you become connected with the Israeli scientific community in general and with Tel Aviv University specifically? I was very lucky three decades ago to get an invitation for the very first Israeli conference by, uh, in bioinformatics. And uh, Tel Aviv University is a powerhouse in bioinformatics with some leaders in the field, such as Professor Ron Shamir, the founding father of Israeli bioinformatics. So I still remember three decades ago riding a donkey on Golan Heights, and we became friends. And later on, we organized a Bioinformatics for Biologists Consortium, which published the textbook Bioinformatics for Biologists. A few years later, we published a paper in Science Magazine arguing that every biologist now should study computing and bioinformatics. At that time, it looked like a crazy and unrealistic idea. Today, with this rapid growth of bioinformatics program everywhere, it is clear we were right, and it's clear that biologists will soon will be required to learn computing in the same way physicists are learning mathematics today. Unbelievable. Now, artificial intelligence is becoming ingrained in, well, everything. So tell me, um, how has AI impacted your field specifically and what do you think the future holds? We hear about many applications of deep learning such as world best chess player or chat GPT, but deep learning is already greatly contributing to science, including bioinformatics in particular. For example, it made major advances in solving protein folding problem, which is the key for efficient drug design, the problem that evaded all attempts to solve it in the last uh, 50 years. From my perspective, I'm very excited about applications of deep learning in antibiotic discovery, because the last half a century was a continuous race between pharmaceutical companies developing new antibiotics and pathogen developing antibiotic resistance. And humanity may face a major crisis in 10 to 20 years when all existing antibiotics will stop working because pathogen has developed resistance. Now, bacteria, uh, everything we learned about antibiotics, we essentially stole the ideas from bacteria because what is antibiotics? It's one good bacteria killing in a pathogenic bacteria using bullets that represent antibiotics. With AI, we maybe don't need to steal from bacteria and invent our own antibiotics and hopefully provide a solution for the constantly raising antibiotic resistance problem. Incredible. Well, congratulations on your doctorate degree, and thank you so much for spending time talking to me today. Thank you.